This evening, I want to invite you to something amazing. I want to call you towards something really powerful. We all have challenges. I do as well. We have problems. I do as well. What are these problems? You have health matters. Every year, twice, thrice, more or less. You have a health matter. You'll have a flu. Seasonal. They call it a seasonal flu. Nobody on earth has perfect health. Nobody can say I've never ever had a single problem with my health. Every human being has had issues. Small or big, that's a different thing. But you've had them. Sneeze, what else? Then you start feeling a bit of a headache. What else? Sinuses, then what else? Sometimes it goes worse. Sometimes it gets better from that point. Sometimes as you feel you're picking something, you know what needs to be done, so you do it, so you feel a bit better. But what happened? It came. Didn't it come in your direction? So every year you'll have a health matter. Sometimes you'll have financial issues. As wealthy as you may be, you could slide quicker than those who probably don't have much. It can be. It's okay. It has happened. What else? You may be struggling in your faith because the challenges of the globe, it's possible. You're not the first one. Don't think you're rejected by Allah. You're not. You're just going through struggles. People struggle with their faith. They come out a few years later, a few days later, some time later, stronger than they ever were before. But Allah creates situations in your lives and mine to help us come out of these things. Sometimes negativity happens. What happened as a result? We became better Muslims. We became people who were acquainted with Allah in a better way. As a result of what? As a result of something that would have otherwise led us to suicidal thoughts. May Allah protect all of us. So if you're struggling with something, please go easy on yourself. But remedy it. Remedy it. Go easy on yourself. The reason I say this, many people tend to lose faith simply because they think they've hit rock bottom and now there's nothing to be done. That's the end. It's not the end. Allah decides when the end is. For you, let me tell you what I wanted to say. The most powerful piece of advice for this evening, starting with myself. What do you think it is? We're believers, right? Let me tell you, your five daily prayers, hold on to them. Work on them. Your five daily prayers, work on them. Become strong on them and see the miracles that start happening in your life. The message this evening is, work on your prayer. You won't go wrong. You know what? It's ultimate success. Tell yourself every time you're being lazy, Allah is greater than whatever I'm busy with right now. Stop it and go and pray. Even if you start with farad, that's which compulsory initially, and then you can work on a little bit more later. But don't give up. Build. If you're doing three out of five, go on to four, go on to five, inshallah. If you're weak, start somewhere, but pray. I promise you. It will change your life. Your problems will be diminished. I'm not saying they will be solved, but they'll become small. You actually tell yourself, I can't believe I used to consider this a problem. It's not even a problem. Subhanallah. Being conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the true aim of Salah, and it empowers the believer. Salah is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's most favorite form of worship. It creates a direct bond between the Lord and his slave. Offering the five daily prayers every day is an act of loving Allah. Here are five easy steps to make sure you do not miss your Salah. 1. Understand the importance of Salah. 2. Put on several reminders for each prayer. 3. Plan your day around the prayer times, not the other way around 4. Remind yourself, five minutes will not hurt. 5. Make dua and ask Allah, Subhanahu wa ta'ala, to make it easier for you. Hopefully, these few tips will help you find the resolve and motivation to keep up with your daily salah and incur all its blessings and rewards in this world and the hereafter, insha'Allah.